This video is sponsored by Unity Alfa Romeo. Well, we all know there's nothing worse than when you're just about to pull off at the traffic lights. The engine does its start stop thing. There's a frantic pressing of the brake pedal trying to get the damn thing going again before you embarrass yourself. It's the one thing that doesn't memorize itself. I can switch it off, but when I go into the car, top it up with fuel, it cycles itself again and it turns itself on. But what I really want to do is some sort of system whereby I can switch the auto start stop off, come back to the car and it will stay like that ad infinitum. So uh, for the princely sum of 26 pounds, there you go. One of these, it says alpha on it, got a little trim removal tool. Um, and hopefully this will memorize the position of the switch. So it's done to comply with the uh, Euro spec reg regulations. We spent half our lives getting into the car and hitting the button. So hopefully this will alleviate it. That will trim tool, I'm just going to prise out the start stop. And this just literally, uh, the plug pulls out the back theoretically. And I just put this in between. So I've got to show you briefly um, how we're going to get that done. So this is the culprit. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to ease this in. Don't want to damage it too much. And of course it's plastic. Uh, and let's see how we get on. Okay, something's happening there. Something's happening there. Something's happening there. Uh, this is the bit I'm going to see. I'm going to use the thin end of the wedge. Ah, there it is. So it looks like the whole panel literally just, there it is, little pulls out. And it's obviously just been held in with these little trim clips. There's the switch at the back. I'm literally just going to tease that out. Yeah, I'm just going to put that in. There it is, secure with a click. I'm going to plug this back in here. Make sure I get it the right way around. There it is. And I'm just going to feed the excess back in. Make sure it's the right way up, of course. And there's enough flex in there. And I'm just going to pop it in. That should be it. So I'm just going to switch the car on now. Got a little flash and the auto start stop are currently off. And it looks like yeah, park sensors are working OK. That's the other thing in there. Looks like the lights are working fine. Let's put it back in park. So I've got the automatic start stop um, on. Just gonna recycle it to see if it memorizes that bit. So all the switches work normally, lights back to auto, the lights are on, the fog lamp works. Um, and that seems to be all good. Automatic start turns off. So <laughs> it looks like I've got a bit of result for 26 quid and three weeks waiting. I knew it was going to take a little time because it comes from uh, China. It was an eBay special. I'll stick the link um, down below if you fancy. A one minute job and it really means now that this car is, uh, is perfect for me. Um, nothing switches on. I've got to do nothing with the uh, lane keep assist. I've got to do nothing about the speed warnings. Um, not so in the later cars. I think everything uh, from uh, sort of July 2024 onwards was mandated by the EU to have everything switched back on again. So um, there you go. And of course, quite possibly for the 2024 model year, um, that was the case. So if you've got a 2024 car, will you let me know what you can switch off and what returns again? This is all um, a channel for everyone to learn from our experiences. Think I've got the sweet spot here, analog dials, um, no bingity bongs, and I've got full kind of ADAS2 lane keep assist down the motorway. Perfect for me for the commute. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you again for the next one. All the best. Bye-bye.